Hi, Ron Spomer, your host at Winchester World of Whitetail, and I'm in Cody, Wyoming at the Firearms Museum where, have I mentioned, we learn interesting things we never knew before, <laughs> like a Winchester handgun? What's going on here? Well, it's actually not as strange as you might think. I know most people don't associate Winchesters with pistols, but they actually started making pistols before the company was even known as Winchester. Wow. Back when it was in New Haven and everyone thought of the Henry rifle being produced, Winchester was actually producing revolvers, hmm. if you can believe it. They were producing them for someone else. They were known as the Walsh 10-shot revolver. Hmm. And then they also tried to make a revolver of their own in the 1870s that I think we'll take a look at in a little bit. Cool. But these are the model 1900 pistols and you can notice there's a funky little bolt action there. Yeah. It's actually a 1900 action in 22 caliber and these come as a case set and they're actually a sample of these single shot pistols that they were attempting to make in the early 1900s. Now these pistols had a limited run but they've kind of become a huge collector item. I always think it's neat to see how collectors will start to get these really really rare guns that really weren't produced that much and they almost grow in fame just sure. because of that scarcity. Oh yeah, rare. And you know they were so scarce that even some people claim that they were lunchbox guns, meaning that they weren't actually made, but they were made by some of the employees and snuck out in a lunchbox. But we do know that Winchester did produce prototypes, and these are it. So wow. it's kind of neat sometimes to see a Winchester that you don't think of. Yeah, hey, and that's why you want to visit a place like this. Firearms museums, just what it suggests. You're going to see some rare things you don't see in everyday life. And it's a good year to see it, because why? because the 150th anniversary. That's right, Winchester's been around for 150 years. And these are just some of the fascinating products they've produced over the years. Come on down, see them at the museum. If you can't get here right away, do a little bit of research online at winchester.com. And if they want to find out more about the Cody Firearms Museum. Well, then they can go to centerofthewest.org. Centerofthewest.org. Sounds professional. <laughs> we try. You try. <laughs>